Hello everybody, Vanguard of Valor here and welcome back. This is Mushroom 11. Something a little bit different for us to try today. I've been wanting to play this game for a long time, but I keep putting it off because I kept thinking, you know what, I should play this and record it because I think it'd be a fun little adventure, a fun romp through a mysterious world of mushrooms. But, uh, I kept not doing it, so I never actually got around to playing it. So I'm excited. We're going to play this today. Don't really know what it's about, but we'll find out. Let's go. Hello. Alright, so we can click to make a little white ring appear. We have our mushroom down here. Oh, interesting. The ring destroys the mushroom, but it grows on the other side. Look at that. Okay, so this is going to be a puzzle then about destroying the mushroom to move it through the world. <laughs> when we just murdered a bug and got DNA. Okay. What happens if you destroy the whole thing? Is it possible? No. You always leave at least a pellet behind. Okay. Use the eraser to move. Yep, I was... I got that. Guess we're in tutorial zone still. So I get the feeling we're gonna have to eat a lot of stuff here if we want to survive and make our way through this world. Huh. That's kind of neat. You can, like, push yourself through the tunnels and such and acquire more mass along the way. I'm not sure if eating things lets us, like, evolve new abilities or if eating things just makes us bigger. But we'll figure it out over time. Just gotta go fast through here, otherwise we're gonna get to pushed back forever. This is an interesting game. I don't really know what to think about it yet, but it's... It's unusual, and I like that. We're in the... F hang on a second. We're in, like, a... Subway right now. There's an advertisement in the background. 15th Street? Where are we? Can I climb these stairs, or I just have to keep pushing so I don't fall back? Hmm. Definitely looks like we're in a ruined city of some kind. All the ruined buildings kind of gave that away. What's this? I guess that's a checkpoint. Okay, let's see if we can get inside this cage. <laughs> this game's neat. The weight drops it down. Okay. We don't often play a lot of puzzle games like this here, but I'm interested in playing a little bit more of this one at the very least. I bet you we're going to have to get to the other side here without losing the button. Because if we lose the press of the button, then we're going to close the door on ourselves. Is that, is that true? It is true, and it also destroys the mushroom that's underneath it. Okay. A little secret room in there. Come back here! Alright, so there are some living things. That blue mass escaped us. Hmm. Getting a little bit more open worldy here. Ah, we got him! I don't really know what all this is about yet, but we'll figure it out eventually. There's lots of stuff to eat, but as far as I can tell, nothing to use it on yet. Hmm. There's a checkpoint mushroom thingy there. Can I push up this fast just by destroying myself? Looks like I can. That's interesting. You can actually maneuver yourself around pretty easily by destroying things underneath you. And if you're growing fast enough, you'll kind of fly. Let's get that checkpoint, and then we'll head over to the left and see if there's anything over there, too. Because it looked like there was. So we'll, we'll scoot through here. What is over on this side? There's all kinds of, like, bits and bobs and things in the background. Look like your old self feel brand new. There we go. You mask. It looks like we're just coming over here to get a bit more food. I don't know what it does yet, though, so I guess we'll find out in the future. 
Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> ah! This game's a bit of a weird one. It's 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 strange to control at first. It feels very weird because you're kind of anti-moving. You're destroying in the direction you want not to go. It's not bad. It's just weird. The blue jumpy fruits. Definitely interesting. It's also good to know that you can jam machinery with your massive mushroom body. Uh oh. <laughs> and that's why we have checkpoints. Alright. I can see how that would be a problem if the game decides to follow some of the part of you that's going into a horrible death trap. I can definitely see that being an issue. Let's go. Sitting on top of this thing. Probably not going to fit in there. Oh, there's a bug on top, though, too. There we go. Just sit up there. We can go get ourselves some free food again. There's, like, graffiti down there. Like a monster head. Oh, come on. There we go. That's what we're looking for. And another checkpoint to keep us going on our merry way. There's a lot of stuff going on here. I don't know what it's all about. Uh oh. Uh oh, come back. I feel we want to be in here. Ooh, that's cool. <laughs> Alright, this game's pretty neat. You can hook yourself in there as it swings you over the lava. I like that. So far, so far, this game's pretty charming. I'm in. And now I bet we have to, like, control our mass to push it to the side rather than dropping into the lava. Like that. There we go. This game's neat. There's lava here, though. I probably don't want to touch that. I don't know if it matters. I have no idea if it matters. I wonder if we can split up and go in two different directions. So if I send this up here to touch the checkpoint, we can. Can then I can I then go down though? No, because that won't grow anymore. What if we just destroy this completely? Now it'll grow in the bottom. There we go. Down in the little room, and hey, there's some more stuff in here. I <laughs> I'd love to know if this does anything. Because we're spending a lot of time gathering up this stuff, but I don't know if it matters for anything or not. Don't touch the lava. I don't know if just touching the lava is bad yet, but I have a feeling it is. Let's go. Oh, it burns us away if it touches the, the fire. Oh, no. No, 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 no. And we're dead. <laughs> And that's why there's a checkpoint right here. Is there like a pause menu that tells us anything? 30 out of 50, okay. So it looks like gathering all of the food or DNA or genetic material or what have you is part of the completion part of the game rather than an actual requirement. But that's still good to know. Come down here and grab that. There we go. Gotta grab as much mass as we can. Leave that on the elevator, and then we'll bring the rest of us down so we can actually take the elevator, and then we can destroy the guy holding the button, and we'll be out of here. It's like an interesting, an interesting type of creature that we are. Very unusual in design. I bet you we're supposed to be like some of that face mask stuff or something. Something that's gone horribly wrong from its original uh, design. It's a very calm little game, but it's a fun one. Let's go. So I know this kind of thing isn't necessarily what people are super into, but uh, we're just going to grow our giant mass over this way and explore anyway. Part of the thing with me wanting to get back into 
uh, video making again is that I just haven't been doing it. So if I do it a little bit more, even if it's not necessarily people are looking to see right away, I think we're dead here. Then it's better than nothing. Yeah, I think we're dead here. It was a good effort, but we couldn't quite make it over the buildings fast enough. So the checkpoints are for though, so it's all good. I think the important thing is to stay low. Uh oh. Go, 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 go. Oh, come on, we were so close that time. Keep moving. Keep moving. Get rid of that. Go, 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 go. Oh. Uh, oh, uh, yeah! No, it's still falling! <laughs> well, we almost made it across that time, but it fell on us too fast. Post-apocalyptic post settings are pretty common in video games, but there's some unusual things you can do with them, like this, where it's... Like... What's going on here? It seems like it's almost like a nanites situation where they're, like, you know, a consuming mass and... Oh, come on, because that part was alive, it destroyed the wrong bit. Uh, it's, it's consuming mass and becoming larger, but it's not destroying everything like a normal Grey Goose scenario would. So it's obviously not that, and it clearly has that, like, green biological element to it. So it's interesting, it'll be interesting to see where it goes as the game keeps going here. Move, 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 move. Okay, we made it through that section this time. <laughs> Only took far too many tries. That's fine, that's fine. Red sections? What is this all about? Is this a plant that makes lava? It is a plant that makes lava, or shoots lava as a defense mechanism, or something. I don't think it likes that we ate its fruit. That's okay, I don't like it much anyway. Problem is, it's a little bit tricky to make sure that you go the right way when you're being destroyed by something like that. Because the body destroys from the bottom first, or if you're destroying the top to go up higher, rather, it leaves the bottom behind, which means it doesn't always go where you want to go. Like a... Um, Fallout-style robot on a stick there. This might be a little bit tricky, too, with the two-sided fires. But we'll do what we can to make it through here, okay? And not burn to a complete crisp. Okay, let's see here. Nope, not fast enough. Oh, I made it across and then deleted myself. <laughs> a sad fate for a sad little mushroom blob. It's actually surprisingly difficult to maneuver yourself around here. Mortal love, now in hollow vision. Hmm. There we go, made it across. Just don't burn up. Just don't burn up, go that way. There we go. The one thing he couldn't have, mortal love. Immortal love. <laughs> That's uh, a bit more of a title than I originally thought. We have danger signs here though. Oh! Hello! You're a monstrosity. I'm guessing we're gonna have to murder you. Hello! Okay, this is a boss. I'm sensing we found a boss. Now we just need to clamber... No, 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 I wanna go that way. Uh, clamber over it in order to go where we need to be. There we go, there we go, there no... <laughs> it's so hard to actually make sure you go in the direction you're trying to move when you're starting to destroy, because if even one little pellet of you gets left behind, sometimes you grow in completely the wrong direction. There we go, now we're climbing them. Oh, and we just got eaten. Launched back away. I wonder if anything can actually kill us other than lava. Because so far that's been the only, like, real tangible threat. It'll be interesting to see if there's anything more dangerous to us than that. Alright, we gotta get up there. Destroy all the little bits and bobs. Clamber over. Ah, no, 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 no. The problem is, because it's curled over backwards, it's hard for us to get up in the right way to get over without accidentally severing the piece that's trying to grow. Like that. Here we go, and whoop! 
<laughs> we're going to space. And we're dead. Okay, so you can actually get killed by those little lava balls if they hit you in just the wrong shape. That's annoying. Are we going to have to do it all again? No. All the ones you've already gotten are still gotten. We just got to get back over it again, which is not necessarily an easy task, but is easier than doing the whole thing again. Destroy the bottom one. Climb over the top. Let's boogie. There we go. There's one more. One left. Oh, you're sniping me. I don't like this. Okay, and underneath we go. Tunnel, tunnel, tunnel. Gotcha. Unfortunately, we only have 49 of the life forms, so I think we missed a single one. I think we missed a single one somewhere back in the earlier part of the game. And that's sad. <laughs> Because I'm assuming since we've beaten the boss, we'll be going to a new area now. Can I climb this wall? I wonder how much momentum you can keep going upwards if you're destroying things carefully. Nah, it looks like you run out of juice if you leave anything behind. Yeah, you eventually just do that. Alright, well that's fair. We missed a single piece of biological life. That's fine. We'll come back here and cause more chaos for them later. Okay, there we go. Time to leave. 49 out of 50. Ugh. So close. <laughs> I wonder how many chapters there are. Oh! That's interesting. There's a fine eraser as well. I wonder how much we'll need to use that in the future. Oh yeah, it is a much smaller eraser. Interesting. So you can, you can do fine motion control by using the small eraser. That's interesting. Okay. Well, let's move on a little bit further here. We're probably not going to get through this whole stage this time, but we'll do what we can and see where we can do. Up, 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 up. There we go. What is this? Welcome to Spring Hollow. Population 132 is what it was scratched out to say. Don't know what it said before, but looks like things haven't gone super well for these people. There we go. Build ourselves a little bridge. Is there anything up there? I doubt it. Uh oh. No, 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 no. Ah. Uh... All right, we gotta get across here carefully. We gotta use the fine tools now. <laughs> Slice them and dice them carefully, though. Carefully, though. Carefully, though. Now we do a bigger clear. There we go, all the way across. You can do it. Man, this is like pretty, pretty finicky with regards to actually making it across this gap. Here we go. There we go, we made it across. Little mailbox. Why do we want to go down here? I bet you we don't want to go down there. I bet you want to drop our mass. To break through the rusted metal. Ah, we gotta do it more than once. Okay, I'm down. I'm down for this. There we go. Luckily, it doesn't matter if you stay large or not. I wonder if all the levels have 50. They do. This one has 50, at least. Alright, let's keep moving here. Got places to go. Post-apocalyptic worlds to explore. Hmm. Well, that's not where I wanted to be large. Alright, back up you go. Can we, like, shave off a tiny piece and send that across? Or do we, like, catapult ourselves by sending a small piece on this side and the big piece into the lava? Ah, no, I see what we do here. We have to put the peg in the peg spot. So it doesn't move. And we're dead. 
I think. Maybe we can recover. Yeah, we recovered. I see what we gotta do, though. We gotta put a post in there so that it can't move the... the bridge. Oh, and I ruined it. It's remarkably easy to do. Alright, let's grow that piece out again so we can do this properly. Fine cut. There we go. Remarkably easy to get yourself in all kinds of trouble here. Let's grow one of these bigger, please. All the way across. Ah! The camera pans over and it gets destroyed. It's the worst thing. The camera is killing us. Because we made it over the ledge there last time, twice now. But because the camera shoots over to show you the new area, your mouse moves over and then you destroy yourself. Not this time. Okay, we got a little bridge here. Let's cut off a piece of us, because I have a feeling this bridge isn't going to like all of our weight. Just send a little bit of mass up. Just a little bit. Let's go back and get that guy. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh we got the checkpoint, at least. So that's something. No. <laughs> go to the left. Got him. Alright, good. Now we gotta get over here. There we go. I'm guessing this is tunnels where we can't see until we're in them? Oh no, we're just climbing a wall here. That's cool. That's pretty cool. We're trying to, like, parkour our way up the side. Yeah, like that. Then we can reach it tendril back out here to grab this roof dwelling blob. Ah, so close. Not that blob. Come on. We're so close. There we go. We got an angry spider. Ooh, he is an angry spider. Touching the bottom of him kills us. We can touch the top to eat him. Okay, so now we're getting angled enemies rather than just having to go straight on. This is interesting. They're mixing things up here. Children's drawings on the walls, too. Of a sun, and... Can I get past this guy, or is he just going to destroy me? Got him. Alright. Anyway, like children's drawings of a sun and an angry flower. Interesting. Make our way back out of this little pit here. There we go, and the checkpoint is ours. Crosswalk. Hmm. Well, this has been interesting, but we're going to stop this episode here for now. This has been a little bit of Mushroom 11. If you've enjoyed the episode, let me know what you thought about the comments below. I know it's not the normal kind of thing we do, but I think it's a really cool game, so we're going to give it a shot. Anywho, I'll be interested in seeing what you guys think about in the comments, and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Until then, bye bye